the opening is, is very eerie in the show. It's, it starts out in, in almost total darkness, and Beelzebub comes on with a candle, and I think the audience don't quite know what's going on. It is very different because it's not your normal movement on stage, and of course the, you know, the, the lines actually rhyme as well, so it does actually feel very, very different to, to normal stage plays. Jack Frost is an evil little character. Oh, he wants to rule. A lot of the makeup, because it's seen in the dark, is something completely different to my normal um, makeup designs because obviously um, you know, it's viewed with very little lighting. It's a very dark play in, in some ways, um, it certainly could be described like that, but it's a message of hope and celebration and it's only really as you come into the second half of the show that that comes through very clearly. It could be a little bit confusing at the beginning because you're not quite sure what's happening, very dark, lots of strange characters with masks on which is traditional. The vibe of the show is very uplifting. Um, it's about life really basically, it's about you know, the wheel turning and about um, things you know, being born, going through your life and then the stages later on in life, it's like that, you know, almost comparing it to the seasons. Well, a mummer's play is an ancient form of uh, site-specific theatre, as it's called nowadays. And what we're doing here is uh, Amsterdam's first site-specific theatre production called Solstice. It's a twisted tale of two brothers of, of like the summer and winter solstice fighting for to be king and, and to dominate. And obviously, Jack is the evil of the two. Robin, Robin Goodfellow, is is the nice summer jovial. And it's the story of the seasons. Traditionally, Mama's plays um, involved uh, two knights, a dark knight and a white knight, fighting a duel, and then one would be revived by a doxa character, uh, and basically balance would uh, come back into the story. So we've taken that a step further, and instead of having the two knights, we've got Jack Frost, who is the dark knight, for want of a better phrase, and we've got Robin Goodfellow, who is the, the white knight, the good knight, if you like. Uh, so basically, it's the story of the seasons, how they interact together, uh, where they have a duel, uh, one dies or is uh, injured, the doctor revives him back into life, it's the rebirth of the seasons. My job is to cure Robin Good, uh, but I think I'm a little bit of a spurious doctor, and so the, the uh, implements and the poisons I use, perhaps, wouldn't really cure him very much, but uh, I, bet I manage it actually by some strange magic. <laughs> and then at the end of the show we have a judgement scene where a judge character, which in our show is Old Father Nick, a Father Christmas type character. The character in the show that I'm playing is Old Father Nick and he's basically, he's a judger of the two seasons and the father of both seasons. And sort of tells the seasons off and tells them that they've both got a rule and coexist together. I think for people who, who haven't seen a mama's play before, it, it's it's very festive. Uh, it's uh, but but for now it, it's quite novel. I, I think the idea is that there's this unease over the whole play, and it's only really at the very end that it's revealed to be a very warm play about about nature. And it's tied together with Panto-esque elements in it as well, because some historians during our research we found think that pantomimes in modern form perhaps have their origins in mummers' plays. So we've got our dame character who kind of holds the whole thing together and she's a fun and friendly mother type character. Uh, and then we've also got boo and hiss and various other slight panto elements and lots of jokes as well in there. Oh, what a cheat! The best offer I've had all week. <laughs> Turns once again! It was magical. 
everything about it was magical. It was a piece of art. It was almost like going to watch a ballet, but being interested and entertained all at the same time. Um, I thought it was really good. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I've never been to something like this before. Uh, I'll definitely do it again. I think it was great fun. Great fun. Yes. Fantastic poetry. And well, the first thing that impressed me was that it was authentic. I thought it was really back from the Middle Ages. But apparently it's, uh, it's a modern version. They were brilliant. They really came to life and the movement and the lighting, the whole thing was absolutely magical. And I just hope so many people come to see it because yeah. we were absolutely enthralled by it. It really brought the spirit of Christmas alive for us.